a Royal Air Force C-17 Globemaster III military transport aircraft performed a daring maneuver in the skies above the United Kingdom on July 29, 2021. As footage from that day shows, the aircraft engaged its thrust reversers to drop from a cruising altitude of 30,000 feet to 5,000 feet in just two minutes. The thrust reversers, commonly used to slow the aircraft down to help the warplane land on space-limited runways, are instead used to dramatically lose altitude in mid-flight. The maneuver, known as a reverse idle tactical descent, has thus far only been used for logistical training purposes, providing a spectacular sight every time. Such rehearsals have showcased the Globemaster III's incredible agility and maneuverability while it performs a unique feat that could be used to pierce into hostile territories in an aggressive, sudden, and yet safe fashion. A legendary air carrier. The Boeing C-17 Globemaster III is a military transport aircraft designed for strategic airlift operations. With a wingspan of 169 feet and a maximum takeoff weight of 585,000 pounds, the C-17 can carry oversized cargo, equipment, and troops to remote locations worldwide. It's powered by four mighty engines and has a range of over 2,400 nautical miles, making it ideal for long-range missions. The C-17 has been used in various military operations, including peacekeeping missions, humanitarian relief efforts, and combat operations. Its rugged design and advanced avionics system make it capable of operating in multiple environments, from desert heat to arctic cold. In addition, the aircraft is equipped with a state-of-the-art cargo handling system that allows for quick and efficient loading and unloading of cargo and the ability to airdrop supplies. The Globemaster III has been a key asset for the U.S. military and its allies, with many countries using the aircraft to support their air mobility needs. As such, it has been used in several high-profile operations, including Operations Desert Storm, Iraqi Freedom, and Enduring Freedom, as well as in various humanitarian missions, including disaster relief efforts in Haiti, Japan, and the Philippines. One critical capability is that the aircraft's engines are capable of thrust reversal. This specialized function provides the warplane with swift deceleration for landing and performing specific maneuvers, one of which is the daring reverse idle tactical descent. Thrust reversal. The C-17 Globemaster III has gained renewed interest in social media because of a recent video showing an impressive short-field tactical departure where a U.S. Air Force pilot took off from Portland International Airport with a takeoff distance of fewer than 2,500 feet. The video shows the colossal metal beast taking off with an incredibly short distance in a feat that appears to defy gravity itself. The warplane then levels off just a few dozen feet above the runway to perform a steep and dramatic climb called a low-altitude tactical departure, used to negate small arms threats near an airfield during a combat scenario. The thrust reversers, located on the aircraft's four Pratt & Whitney F-117 PW100 turbofan engines, are typically used to deflect airflow upward and forward during landing to reduce the distance needed to stop and provide access to smaller airstrips. The C-17's thrust reversers are incredibly powerful and designed to deflect the airflow from the engines upward and forward when landing, reducing the distance needed to stop to about 3,000 feet. This is helpful when performing landings in small and less developed runways such as those found in several war zones. On the ground, the thrust reversers also keep jet wash away from the aircraft's rear, making it easier to load and unload cargo via the ramp. The thrust reversers are even powerful enough to propel the aircraft backward on the ground, which can be useful for reversing on shorter airstrips. And they can push a fully loaded C-17 up a two-degree slope if required. Moreover, the thrust reversers have another less known function that has been barely tested. In it, they're used mid-flight to drastically lose altitude and achieve a spectacularly swift descent. 
A recent video from the RAF C-17 operator, number 99 squadron, showed this capability during a training sortie on July 29, 2021. The video showcases a reverse idle tactical descent during a seven-hour flight around the United Kingdom. Test Limitations The incredible footage shows the thrust reversers engaged to allow for a maximum rate descent, causing the aircraft to drop from 30,000 feet to 5,000 feet in just two minutes, an incredibly swift loss in altitude that very few large aircraft can achieve safely. Interestingly, the RAF crew claimed that what was accomplished in the test was far from the aircraft's maximum performance capabilities regarding descent rate, which suggests that the Globemaster III could descend even faster if needed. In the video, the pilots can be seen maintaining the aircraft's speed by adjusting its attitude, as glimpsed by the relationship between the horizon and the wing's angle. The crew of 99 Squadron explains, quote, the low nose attitude needed to maintain speed is part of what causes the massive rate of descent. Speed brakes are also used for an even higher descent rate. Higher speed also means higher rates of descent. According to the crew, the maneuver is being tested for, quote, getting on the deck as quickly as possible. They also made it clear that the tests did not include procedures for emergency or combat scenarios. Quote, it is unlikely to be used in an emergency due to the highly dynamic nature of it but you never know. The crew's comments, however, have not been enough to stop some experts from entertaining the idea of its combat use. Many combat aircraft enthusiasts have jumped at the possibility of using the thrust reverser's ability to enable a quick descent in situations where the aircraft needs to quickly drop from a high altitude to a low one, such as entering into an approaching hostile territory without flying over dangerous areas that a typical descent would require. Extreme yet safe. The drastic rate of descent is spectacular to behold and is said to be a safe and reliable operation that does not exert excessive stress on the crews apart from some moderate vibration. As one of the crew members put it, quote, from the cockpit, the amount the wings and nacelles shake with all four engines in reverse is also quite incredible. Otherwise, the automatic cabin pressurization system ensures the maneuver is relatively forgiving on the ears and body, as the forces imparted are between 0 and 2 G. Pilot Andy Netherwood described the feat as, quote, a great party trick and fun to fly, stressing that the maneuver is easy and does not pose a stall risk. The process involves slowing down, configuring the aircraft, engaging the thrust reversers, and following the flight director's instructions. Considering that the C-17 Globemaster III's short field and low altitude tactical departure capabilities are intended to keep the aircraft safe, even when operating in hostile territories or directly under fire, it is not hard to imagine that the reverse idle tactical descent function could also be used to descend into hostile environments in a dramatic way that helps the warplane avoid enemy fire. Only time will tell if the incredible maneuver depicted in the footage will have combat applications. Still, for now, it highlights the aircraft's versatility and why it is one of the most sought-after airlift solutions for military forces around the world. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Dark Footage. We have many more incredible feats caught on camera to share, and we don't want you to miss out. Also, don't forget to check out our other Dark Documentaries channels where you can find much more exciting content. Stay tuned.